Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a little odd. Uh, hopefully you'll bear with me and uh, just enjoy the ride. Uh, today's video, I'm going to I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, if you'll allow me. Uh, no reason in particular, I just thought that uh, it would be fun. And maybe you can listen. Uh, if you click the subscribe button, you kind of understand what kind of person I am. Uh, so first up, uh, as you can tell probably by my channel name, uh, my name is Joseph Matthew. I was born in 1993. I am currently 28 years old. Uh, I am married. September 17th will be my five-year anniversary, even though we've been together 14 years. Uh, we've been together a long time. I married my high school sweetheart, and I have not regretted it. Um, I am still so thankful that I met this woman. Oh, she's very beautiful. Uh, she's very smart. She's got a good job. She's just perfect. Um, some of my favorite things are tattoos and piercings, if you can't tell. I got, you know, tattoos, piercings, all that good stuff. Um, I love music. Music is really important to me. Uh, every time we go to the mall, I have to go to FYE, uh, even though FYE has kind of let me down. Uh, not even a quarter of their store is music, but I still go there, and I go through all their music, new and old. Uh, and that's another thing, too, uh, when it comes to music. Uh, I don't really have a favorite type of music. It, it just happens to be however I feel that day. You know, if I feel a little rebellious, I might be listening to a little rap you know, uh, if I'm feeling, you know, like pumped, I might be listening to some metal or some, you know, heavy rock, something like that. Uh, if I'm just feeling like I'm trying to relax, I might listen to a little jazz or country. Um, not too big into new country, but I don't hate it for the most part. There are some people out there that I don't really like, but, you know, to each their own. Uh... But I love old, older country. Uh, people like uh, Roger Miller. I love Roger Miller. He's an amazing storyteller, uh, as well as a songwriter. Uh, of course, Johnny Cash, the great late Johnny Cash. Um, George Jones. Hank Williams. Junior. Uh, anyway... <clears throat> Going on, talked about music now, uh, let's see, some of my aspirations, okay, let's talk about that, um, I aspire to be, sooner or later, the world's greatest dad, I want to be the world's greatest dad, and I want to be able to live comfortably and make sure that my babies are taken care of. Um, that's what I aspire. I, I want that in my life. Uh, some sense of comfort, some sense of, uh, stability. You know, which we're not doing bad right now. I just don't really have all that much going on right now. So, um, yeah. Uh, what else? Let's see. I'm going to go with, uh, let's, let's talk about some of my, um, let's talk about some of my good traits, okay? I'm a great listener. Uh, even though I might not care about what you're saying, I will listen. Um, I also uh, tend to, for the most time, have a 
typically positive attitude, uh, even if it may seem negative, most of the time it's sarcasm or, you know, a joke. Some, most people don't get that. They think I'm just kind of a dickhead, but really I'm just me. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see. Um, I have a, let's see. Let's go over some of my negative sides. I have a very addictive personality. Um, anything to make me feel good, uh, anything, you name it, you know, that's something that I, I keep wanting. So, uh, that's why I don't drink all that much. I may have one or two now, but you know, too much is not a good thing, so I, I kind of try to keep, I keep that in check if I'm going to have anything, um, but that includes all kinds of different things, that includes, you know, uh, illegal substances, legal substances, uh, sexual relations. I love it. I tend to have, um, you know, just something to make you feel better. I love those things. Uh, what else? Um, also, I'm a little hot-headed. I can be hot-headed. Uh, but I think... You know, I lack patience, and that's something that I've tried to work on uh, time and time again, and that's something that I continue to work on is uh, my patience. I think I've gotten a little bit better over these past couple of years, probably coming with age. I'm getting slowly but surely. I'm, I'm relatively young, but I'm also getting older at the same time, and I just don't care about as much as I used to. So I feel like, you know the 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 rough and tough kind of uh, angry side of me is slowly subsiding and I'm kind of chilling out more um, but yeah those are some bad things about me um, what what's a good question okay so let's see if if I won the jackpot tomorrow we, some of the first things I would do is uh, pay whatever I have left on my house and probably rent it out and go buy me something bigger on some land, on more land than I got now. Um, I would probably get covered head to toe in tattoos. I would buy me a newer vehicle. I don't know if I would buy something brand new. Or something outrageous, but something newer. Or maybe I'd keep the Santa Fe that I got and got me another truck or something. Uh, I'm not going to blow all the money on cars. I might blow a lot of it on tattoos and guns. I love me some guns. I would definitely, I would buy all the guns. All of them. Just cha-ching. And then I'd be in straight competition with Dragon Man. Okay, so let that Dragon Man, if you're out there, if I win the jackpot, you can forget about it. People are going to be coming to my museum and gun range and so on. I'm just joking, but uh, that's another thing that I would love to do. Go to Dragon Man's and shoot. Um, I know I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to... I didn't write anything down. I just wanted to sit down and be real. And uh, I think it's working. But yeah, that would probably be it uh, for the jackpot if I won. The rest of it would probably... <coughs> I would try to invest uh, responsibly. Um, what else? If I would change, if 
if I, okay, let's see. If I was going to change anything about myself, I would change, um, I would push myself a little bit more, which I can do that now, I guess. Uh, if I could change something about me, I would probably make myself a little bit more of a go-getter. Uh, and I would just lose this weight and become absolutely shredded. That would be nice. Um, I would... I would definitely change some of these tattoos I got. I would have just went ahead and got a whole sleeve. And it would have all matched. I would change that. Um... I don't know. This is a whole lot harder than I thought it would be. I thought this would be like rolling off the tongue. I don't know. Let's get in some more facts about me. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't really care about materialistic things. I don't... I'm not a clothes guy. I'm not a shoes guy. Um... I'm not even a jewelry guy. Like, I do have piercings and, uh, you know, my wedding ring. Other than that, I may have a couple of watches that are cheap, comparatively speaking, to other kinds of watches. They're kind of, some of them are still like $500, $200, but they're not a Rolex. Um... I'm not really a car guy unless it's like uh, classics or, you know, every now and then I might see a sports car that I like that's newer. Um, I'm not artistic whatsoever. Artistic, not autistic, by the way. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I don't know. I just figured somebody would say something. Uh, I can't play any instruments, even though I did attempt to play bass guitar in middle school. And uh, I never got lessons because they were expensive. So I tried to figure it out myself, and I never, never learned. Anyway, this video has been all over the place. This has just been a couple of things about me. Good, bad, the ugly. And, uh... Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, and please forgive me. Um, but let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Did you enjoy it? Would you like to see more stuff like this in the future, where I kind of give you an inside peek of my life, or I tell you about it, rather? Um, yeah. I guess I'll see you in another video.